first thing to bother with is going to be to do our model object. So I'm going to have to look up this. I haven't really memorized it. Yeah, so if we say we have a class, um, count model, um, integer for count. And I've mentioned before that we're going to have some sort of way for the top layers of the application to observe what's happening or to be updated on what's happening in the, mo in the model. Because imagine if whenever the count changes, it's not really of much use to anyone if the view is never updated with that change. But then that kind of brings us to mind of how we keep it updated. And we're going to use something called the observer pattern, which I'm, I'm not really going to get too far into because it's kind of beyond the scope of this. But suffice to say that we'll keep an, an array of some sort. Like in this example, I used an array list, which is a Java class. Uh, basically, any sort of an array, whatever arrays you have in your, in your language will do. Um, we'll call them observers. That's our two, uh, in this very simple case, that's the only two things we need to keep track of. There's no other advanced sort of computations going on. Um, suppose then the next one to have is a method. Um, and that's just a simple sort of thing of, um, you know, whatever, count plus plus, or whatever your favorite way of incrementing a number is. And every time that method is called, that'll do what this program is supposed to do, and it'll just keep updating the, the count one at a time. Um, for this whole observer thing to work, we need a way of registering an observer with this guy. So what, what we want to have is that if, if for some weird reason we wanted two windows, or maybe a window and a really small little window here that just displayed the count, we could have our array of observers. And every time this thing changes, it's going to update the entire all the people in the list of, of observers. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, any, any questions on the observer thing? Is, is everyone kind of getting what I'm, what I'm talking about? Any confusion at all? So that would be like an array of... It'll be an array of... Um, I'm, I'm going to implement an interface called count observer, okay. and the view will implement that interface. And uh, basically every time... We're going to put in the thing that every time the count changes, it will it'll, it'll update all, all, all observers that have registered interest. And that's kind, of, that's kind of a nice way of keeping it indirect as well, because the model will be unaware of who these observers really are. It'll just know that they want to be updated on it. And it could conceivably be that they'll be updated on it and not actually do anything with that data. But again, that's not the model's, that's not what the model is concerned with. All he needs to do is to hold the state of the count and then update whoever wants to be updated on it and whatever they choose to do with this, whether they display it on the screen or delete the thing entirely, is, is that object's business. And you can kind of see where we're getting this kind of nice separation as well here. Uh, so yeah, plus one. Um, we'll have a register count observers. Um, and we'll just say it's a... Observer coming in, and what that will only really do is uh, whatever observers dot add oh, or something. It, it'll, it'll be different in whatever language you're actually using. Um, for this to work, what we're doing, what we're going to do is declare an interface. Has everyone done interfaces in Java? Uh, I think in Objective C or Protocol. 